Uh, I'm here at the Westmoreland Bridge here, my police scanner. I gotta quit smoking. My god, I ran across the bridge. <laughs> Do you, need, do you need the AED, Charles? Yeah, oh my God. cardio, right? <laughs> my AED is, yeah, was fine. So what's going on here? Um, the police force responded to the reports of a person on the ice on the north side of the river. It was, uh, they were identified and, and uh, found by a, a passing snowmobiler. So our role at this point was to respond and to determine if there was any signs of life. Unfortunately, at this point, uh, it looks like the gentleman is deceased. And at this point, what we do is uh, we treat the death as a sudden death, and as a result, we process the scene instead of just simply removing the individual. So that's what we're in the process of doing now is our identification section will come out, you know, photograph and do any other um, forensic uh, processing. And at that point, uh, once that's done, we'll simply remove the body. When I arrived here, there was somebody on, on the ice. They were just standing there. Was it a police officer? Police officer. That was that was actually one of our, um, our TEMS members, which is our... Uh, um, tactical emergency medical uh, uh, individual. He's a paramedic, also a police officer as well. Did he just go, go there? Or? No, actually he responded. First thing we do is we do a quick assessment to make sure that it's safe to be on, on the ice. Mm. Um, because we're, you know, we're familiar with the ice depths and the temperatures, uh, it was safe to be out there. You only need a few inches actually, believe it or not, to be on, on the ice feet. Sorry, on uh, um, an individual. Mm. However, with the fluctuation in the, uh, the water levels because of the dam, it's always better to be safe than sorry. So the ice is thick enough out there. It can support an individual's weight at this point. So there is an individual that jumped off of the bridge? Well, to be honest with you, Charles, we're not sure, not right? Sure. And uh, if, you know, if the investigation determines it's a suicide, that's one thing, but that's why we need to make sure that we, uh, you know, do a step-by-step -step process to determine whether or not it is a suicide versus a homicide. Yeah. Because, you know, not to be paranoid, but what's to say that, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't by an accident mm -hmm. or if it was intentional. So we need to make sure we take all those steps and precautions to determine what the, you know, the cause of the... Uh, Just for the record, I was the bridge all the time. I will never commit suicide. So if I'm off the bridge, that means somebody pushed me. And just and just for the record, Charles, right? You know what we call suicide? It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Exactly, and I call it the uh, coward way out. Well, unfortunately, a lot of times what happens is there's a lot of a lot of the uh, scenes. Yeah, there's a lot of mental health issues there. Um, but you know, it, unfortunately, it doesn't solve anything. Thank you very much, man. No problem.